Hey y'all, I am back with another tutorial. Um, I'm going to be using a gorgeous, gorgeous statement piece from, it's a, um, it's a head wrap, it's called uh, the Wahala Head Wrap from Chrome. And um, Black Woman Owned Company, I'm super excited to have, I think I ordered three scarves from her. So I'm super excited to finally showcase and to do tutorials with her, um, with her, her head wraps because they're absolutely beautiful. Um, but to just start things off, I am going to be using some staple pieces, just some solid colored um, extra extra long t-shirt uh, scarves from Rapunzel to kind of give balance to the scarf. And then I'm going to be going in with this Wahala head wrap from Corone, which is going to give us all of the drama. <laughs> and um, this is it. There we go. Isn't this gorgeous? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I saw it and I gagged. It was so gorgeous. So I'm excited to get into this head wrap. We're going to start first with the teal extra long head wrap from Rapunzel. And this is just my personal preference. I prefer to use the brighter colors closer to my face just because... Um, I feel that darker colors tend to age me. Just my personal preference. Um, it might be different for you depending on your complexion, depending on your undertone. Um, some people, bright colors make them look kind of dull and, and um, it kind of dulls their complexion. For me, that's how I feel about darker colors. So I prefer to use bright colors to my face because um, they're absolutely beautiful on my skin. So there we go. We are just going to crisscross like that. And you guys know that I am not a fan of having the tips of my ears out. So not only are they covered that way. Oh, I'm also using the Uber Shaper. So this is going to be a very, very big head wrap on top of all of the drama from the Wahala head wrap. <laughs> but you've seen how I do this just to make sure that my ears stay covered. This is honestly like my go-to head wrap. There we go. And I'm just gonna have everything crisscross right here in the middle, in the center. Instead of having it kind of off-centered, I'm gonna have everything right here in the middle. So what we did to one side, we're gonna do it to the other. Fold in. And you want the creased part of your wrap to go closest to your face, like so. And at this point, as long as your um your headscarf when you first started out was completely unfolded, you didn't have any edges um, tucked away, your shaper, even though it's incredibly huge, your shaper should still be completely covered. So now we're just going to tuck this away, whichever little pockets you find. Oh, he got away. It's all right. There we go. And now everything is tucked in. My Uber shaper is completely covered. Everything's been tucked away. My ears are tucked in. And now we're gonna go in with this purple. So I have already folded it down. You just gotta get it. Get my edges together. And um, if you're working with um, jersey knit scarves, you know that they tend to roll, that the edges can roll, and that's okay. 
they can roll down somewhat. It's not that big of a deal. We're going to lay this right here. And I'm looking to make sure that my tails are as even as possible. And we're gonna bring it right here. So you still want um, like the little V right here. You want that part to be exposed because I think it's really cute. And I'm just gonna take and wrap it around. And I'm gonna tuck one under. And once again, I'm starting on my left side, just my preference. You can start on your right if you prefer. Okay. And we're gonna wrap around. And we are actually going to keep wrapping until we have run out of headscarf and we tuck in. Just tuck in right here. And we're going to do the same thing on this end. Try to get it together. And we're just going to wrap around. And if you see where something isn't laying right, go ahead and get it together while um, before you tuck everything away. Trust me, trust me, you'll appreciate it later on. And we're just gonna take and tuck it in. So that was a lot of material, but we are not finished yet. Okay, now for Wahala. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fold it in half. Nothing special. It doesn't have to go all the way down to the width of a sash. You actually want it to stay kind of wide, just not super wide. And we're gonna lay it down right here and I always tilt my head back just a bit to make sure um, that my tails are even whenever I'm tying from this angle. There we go. You ready for this? So we're gonna bring it up top and then we're going to tie a knot right here. Doesn't have to be tight. Just like so. And then we're just gonna open up our tails. Wahala. <laughs> I love this. I love this i love this uh, this is just i feel like with some really big chunky earrings some really bright chunky just uh, i love this like this makes me want to go out and dance and i can't dance this is all i got this right here this is my happy place that's all i got but this is gorgeous and i love it so let me know what you think I think this is so pretty. I wanna go someplace, but everything is closed. <laughs> this is gorgeous. So let me know what you think. Um, comment, like, subscribe. I don't even care. Just let me know what you think. Cause I think this is so cute. All right, <laughs> bye y'all. Thank you so much for watching.